Hi, this is Riri Joshi and I am going to explain the rhythm abnormality on ECG. Let's see about the normal conduction system of our heart. So our impulses will generate from sinoatrial node. It is the primarily pacemaker of our heart. So from here, this is the specialized cell. It is called the pacemaker cell. Impulses will arise from here and the generation will be 60 to 100 beats per minute. From SA node, it will go to the right atrium and the left atrium. And in the left atrium, it will go via the Bachmann's bundle. From here, it will reach to the internodal pathway. So anterior, middle and the posterior internodal pathway, it will reach to the AV node. When impulses is reaches to the AV node, there will be a little bit conduction delay. And after this conduction delay, the atria will empty the blood into the ventricle. So, it will allow sufficient blood to flow from atria to ventricle. And impulses emerge from the AV node. It will go to the right and the left bundle branches and... From here, it will terminate into the Purkinje's fibers in the ventricle. The rate of impulses generation of the SA node is 60 to 100 bit per minute, AV node 40 to 60 and the bundle of his and the Purkinje's, it will be 20 to 40 beats per minute. Let's see what is a normal sinus rhythm. A normal sinus rhythm it is referred to the normal heart rhythm. So it is a normal flow of electrical system. So when there is a normal flow of electrical system, heart rate will be 60 to 100 beats per minute. The rhythm will be regular. We can see from one R wave to second R wave, the rhythm is regular. The P wave is always follow the QRS complex. So this is P wave always follow QRS complex. The PR interval is also normal 0 0.12 to 0.20 second and the QRS duration is less than 0.12 second. So this is all about the normal sinus rhythm. Let's see the disorder of the heartbeat and cause of the disorder. When there is impulses defect there is impulses formation defect, impulses conduction defect or collection of the both, it will affect the heart rate rhythm. So what is the arrhythmia mechanism? It may be either re-entry of uh, impulses or it may alter the automatic automaticity of our heart. In order to see the rhythm abnormality, we need to see the arrhythmia. Let's see what is arrhythmia. So, when there is arrhythmia, heart beat either too fast or too slow. When the heart is beating too fast, it is called tachycardia. Too slow, bradycardia. So, if we are having electrical impulses abnormality, then we are having tachycardia or bradycardia. When there is arrhythmia, heart may get the skip beats, it is called flutter. Tachycardia, it is greater than resting heart rate 100 beats per minute. Bradycardia, less than 16 beats per minute. When there is a fibrillation, it is always denoted by abnormal firing of the signals within the area of a heart and it is caused by disorganized heartbeat. Let's see about the sinus arrhythmia. Sinus arrhythmia, it's a normal physiological phenomena. Most commonly, it is seen in the young and healthy people. If the heart rate is affected, it varies due to the reflex changes in the vasovagal tone. And at the different st stages of the respiratory cycle, the heart rate is affected. Let's see. If there is expiration, vasovagal tone is decreased and it may lead to the decrease in heart rate. If inspiration cycle is there, it increase in the heart rate. The incidence of the sinus arrhythmia decrease with the age and it is due to the age related changes. It may affect the 
carotid distensibility and baroreceptor reflex sensitivity. That's why patient is having sinus arrhythmia. Let's see about the sinus arrhythmia ECG. So what is the characteristic of sinus arrhythmia? Especially the heart rate will 60 to 100 beat per minute means it's normal. Commonly it's seen in the elderly and the young people so we doesn't need require any treatment. Here we can see that the heart rate is 60 to 100 beat per minute. From here we can calculate 300, 150, 175, 60. So 60 to 100 beat per minute. But if we see the rhythm from a 1 hour to 2nd hour, 2nd hour to 3rd hour, so rhythm is irregular. The P wave is identical. If we can see from here, P wave is identical before the QRS. PR interval is also 0.12 to 20 second and the QRS is less than 0.12 seconds. So it is normal. So this is all about the sinus arrhythmia ECG. Let's see some feature of sinus arrest or sinus pause and its ECG along with this. When there is a sinus arrest, the heart rate will be 60 to 100 beats per minute or non-applicable. Rhythm, we can see from 1 hour to hour and the third hour wave, we can see that the one long pause is there, missing QRS is effect, uh, there. So, this is irregular rhythm. The SA node initiate the impulses, but impulses is blocked before leaving to the node itself. So, if there is a block, it is always affect the ECG strip. So, for treatment, we need the atropine and the pacemaker if it is symptomatic. So, when there is a sinus arrest, the P wave before the QRS complex is identical. And the new rhythm begins after a big pause. So, one P wave to another P wave interval is disturbed and the PR interval and the QRS is not affected. Let's have a look on the sinus exit block. So when there is a sinus exit block, the heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute or it may be not applicable or affected. Rhythm is 1 hour to second hour is affected so it is irregular. The SA node initiate the impulses but block is there so node itself is affected. Here the PQRS complex is also affected. The pause is same, the di same distance between the PP interval and underlying the rhythm. It is uniform in appearance. We can see here the P wave is uniform in appearance. It is not increased or decreased. Let's continue with the sinus exit block in our next slide. The P wave precede each QRS complex is present. The PR interval is 0.12 to 20 second. That means it's normal. QRS duration is 0.10. So it is decreased. The main cause it may be myocardial infarction, some drug effect or some coronary artery disease. And for the treatment, we need to refer them for the physician. See about some characteristic of premature atrial complexes. The rate is normal, rhythm is irregular because impulses occur early. Premature atrial contraction uh, site, it may be atrial, junctional or ventricular. So, when it is occur, PAC occur when irritable site within the atria discharge before the next SA nodes and it is due to a discharge. It may be in pair, means couplet burst means premature atrial tachycardia and it may be uh, every other bit means by Gemini. Let's see in this ECG lead. P wave is early so it differs from the sinus P wave. It is premature. We can see in this ECG because atria depolarize early means prematurely that's why the P wave shape we can see here it is different. It is notched or flattened. 
it may be lost in the preceding T wave so we cannot differentiate the T wave and the P wave here. The PR interval is normal, QRS duration is a prolonged and here we can see the Q, this is P, Q, R, S duration. So QRS duration may be prolonged or normal. Let's see about the premature junctional beat. So what is it? The junctional premature beat, it arises from the irritable focus at the atrioventricular junction. So let's see the ECG for this. Here we can see that the P wave denotes atrial depolarization. In this example, if we can see here, the P wave is not good as in the normal ECG. It is hidden under the QRS complex. We can see here. We can see here also. Right? So like this way, this kind of the changes will occur because the beat is premature. So the irritable focus at the atrioventricular junction. Guys, if you have any doubts related to any topics in NPTE or PCE, please let me know in my comment section so I can make videos on that.